I'm saying all that. I'm saying all that because I want to come back to Maxwell Chico Butso's, uh, what, what, what it is that he claims to have created. And I'm thinking that there's a good possibility that what he made is valid. Now, everybody's up in arms saying that what he made was fake because it's not possible to have these things. Here's the problem with that, right? We've been led to, we've been lied to since day, you, we, we have to understand, we have to come to understand that everything they told us is a lie. It's an absolute lie. So when you build anything, right? A lot of times, unless you are like, you have like a mind that you've been on shrooms or some kind of drug. If you're building something, oftentimes it's been because of an inspiration off of something else, right? So when people think of a vehicle, a land-based vehicle, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Like something like a car. If it's not a, a, a Porsche, you're like, hey, I'm going to build my own car or something based off of the automobile model, right? Four wheels, um, a steering column, brakes, something to you know burn so that you can move forward. Well, this is a template that we use. And based off of that template that we see on a day-to-day -day basis, this is the frame of reference that we're going to use in order to go ahead and build the newest car, however wh which way we want to build it. But it's going to basically copy that, that model. So what Maxwell Chikambutso has made it's so bizarre to some people that we can't, a lot of us just can't see it, right? I, I would consider myself the lay person. I would consider, even though I used to be an electrician back in the day as well, but even still with my electrical skills, it's based off of technology and in, it's based off of a fashion in which I was taught, right? We also have to consider Maxwell Chikambuzo doesn't appear to be um, classically trained, right? Like, because if, if say if he was classically trained and he did go to college and do all the other things right maybe this technology wouldn't exist at this time maybe not at all or maybe somebody similar to him may come in the future and do what it is that he's doing now you understand so this is somebody in the comment section i think it was cl that mentioned that um <clears throat> that uh that academia has lied to us and that's what it is. And this is something that I kind of alluded to earlier when I said that when you get a PhD, you kind of get scope locked in how to think and how to how to approach things, how to approach, um, I guess, different aspects of whatever it is that you were classically trained in. That's all you know. That's that. And I'm, and shout out to all the people that have PhDs, because I'm sure it's hard to get a PhD because you have to write a book and everything else like that. But um like a lot of these guys are scope locked in their thinking. So we have to go back to the basics. We can't just say, oh, well, based off of these pictures, based off of these GPS, based off of this, based off of that. What we have to understand is that science, right? And mainstream science, I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna say mainstream science uh, is gonna go ahead and they're gonna make you think that what you're seeing is not what you're seeing. What you're experiencing is not what you're experiencing. They're going to stand behind a white lab coat and they're going to make you think that where you're living, everything, they invert everything on purpose. OK, no, 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 no. We, we can prove that the earth is flat. You can go to a beach and you can prove that you can fly in a plane and you could prove it. And the pilots will, just like I said, they'll tell you that it is what it is. It's flat, right? Nothing you could do about it when you're born. Your default perception as to what this place is, is that it's flat and it doesn't move. And here's the thing, like, and, you know, people are going to make fun of me. Listen, I didn't want to come to this discussion and say I'm a flat earther, right? Because to me, I, I don't want to be ridiculed. I don't want to be made fun of. Nobody wants that. But the truth is the truth, right? Whether you want to accept it or not, it is the truth. And so I don't want to go around and just just argue just to argue but when you come into what the truth is and the reason i'm 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 uh, providing this information the way i am is because there are so many smart people in this panel right so many people that have so much information in their minds that if they saw this place for what it truly was imagine the amount of information that will start to make sense to you that at one time didn't make sense because you have to understand this is a foundational lie where you're born or where you where you think you live is based off of a foundational lie. 
them telling you that this place is moving, uh, performing all these maneuvers that are not possible, saying that space is a vacuum, which is funny because when can you have a vacuum that is adjacent to a gas, a gaseous place? It's not possible without, unless you have something separating it, like a barrier, it's not possible. And let me, just to kind of talk about the whole vacuum aspect of things, the only place that we can replicate this 10 to the negative 17 tour of vacuum on earth that ever, we were talking about vacuum earlier, right? The only place that they can replicate anything close to that is at the Sandusky lab, uh, laboratory in um, Ohio, right? And this is where they do all those big vacuum tests and everything else like that. And the most that they can replicate is 10 to the negative six tour, not even half of what they claim going to the moon is. So I'm going to land my plane with this, right? In order to, <clears throat> in order to better understand what Maxwell Chikambuzo is doing, don't assume like we we can't assume like we know. And just because of our assumptions, we're throwing we're 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 not allowing ourselves to understand particular parts of electricity, of science, and and the like. Uh, because we we want to assume we want to act as if we know we want to act as if the answers that were given to us or the ways in which we were trained in school is the right way when it turns out that the, our most loving professors our most loving instructors they've been lied to as well and i'm not saying that these guys are liars but they've been lied to right every all of us have been lied to you have to go out you have to experience this world for yourself and you have to be true with what's in in front of you if you're not going to be honest with the with what the world is giving you, there's no way in hell that you can get the truth outside of that. There's no way you're going to think everything is moving. You're going to think it's a ball. And then that limits that limits what you see in front of you. That limits what this world is. I hope that makes sense. I land my plane because I've been talking too much. I, I want I want to give you guys a floor. I apologize. Thank you. Um, I'm a member. Well, by the way. Thank you. Well, um, I just um, I wanted to ask, what are these lies that um, you think you have been told? Because um, the first um, principle of science is to have intuition. So um, I don't just believe things because I was told by my lecturers. I interact with nature every day. I interact with these technologies every day. So I get to see these things for myself and understand them. I'm not just out to maybe listen to some theory and then jot it down and then assume that's how the world works. I build these machines myself, so I see these principles into play. So when you say we'll be lied to, I don't get where the light the light comes from because um because um I don't listen to what they tell me and 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 I just take it. I actually work with them. And I see them for myself. That's why we do a lot of experimentation when we are doing science. So it is not clear where the lie that you are talking about is coming from. That's for Ironworks, correct? Yeah, yes. Yes, that was from Ironworks, but the one was commented was AD. So, well, I am not. No, I am not. Has dropped. He's gone to the comment section, but to the chat section, he's saying that much of science is a lie. I don't know what you think about it. Well, yeah. I don't know if much of science is a lie. I kind of agree with Eddie to some degree. There's a lot of things that have been proven out, measured, and, and tested. Um, I don't think they have all the answers. I think that. Uh, they've unfortunately been forced not to look in certain directions and those are the directions that I looked for so I'm not saying that uh, academia couldn't come up with this but unfortunately they're forced to think a certain way like when it comes to experimentation uh, and a lot of universities they're not allowed to to work with spinning magnets and spinning electromagnetic fields and because it leads into other tech that I don't know if it's not supposed to be found or if they don't understand it or if they believe it's too dangerous. I'm not really sure, but uh, 
when it comes to the academic premise of always proving the truth, I don't necessarily agree with you on that, Eddie. I do believe there's a lot of truths that have been proven, and the scientific method itself is sound. But not everybody applies that method soundly. And that's the part that I have an issue with. And I only say that because what I have doesn't make sense. So I had to search for years to try and figure out how it worked. And I've gone over every theory possible. And I've talked to many different physicists trying to apply those theories to the system I have. But a lot of them would say the same thing. It's impossible because it breaks the laws of conservation of energy. But I disagree with that because I don't allow heat to build up. 